Hello. Osteomas is one of the most common type of benign bone tumors. And when does it reach a neurosurgeon? It reaches a neurosurgeon when that lesion is on the head. And yes, it does affect the skull pretty commonly. And amongst those cases of osteomas which affect the skull too, there are very few which actually require some kind of treatment. The ones which are behind the hairline, unless it causes really bad pain, does not warrant any treatment as such. But the ones which are in the small zone along the forehead are the ones which usually require or the patient really seeks out treatment and most of the time the reason is cosmetic so in the other cases if it's just a pain usually a painkiller a good one does the trick but for lesions in the forehead if it is a cosmetic problem we have to remove it surgically now comes the interesting bit now you have a lesion bang on the forehead right in front. Now if I put an incision right over there, again, what I'm causing is further deficit in the cosmesis. So if I'm trying to give him a good cosmetic results, it's very important that I do the same thing where the incision itself is hidden and not seen. So what we normally do is if the lesion is somewhere around the border of the hairline or just about you know a small bump over here and we can take a small flap like incision behind reach the lesion just pull the tissue down and uh, remove that small osteoma but when it is further down we can take different kinds of incision if it is around the eyebrow then we could take an eyebrow incision go up and take out the lesion at times, if the lesion is bang on the center, we can put an incision, a small incision on the scalp behind the hairline, use an endoscope and again drill out the tumor. So when the patient with an osteoma approaches us with uh, the need to get it excised, we try and use various means, but it's only used if the patient really feels that it has to come out. Otherwise, neurosurgically, there is very rarely any indication for removal of an osteoma. Thank you.